Let's also get you more news and that's IIT Delhi has emerged as the 26th best institute in engineering and technology category globally as per the latest edition of the QS Global Rankings. The institute's ranking has improved from 45 last year's, especially marking it, uh, this is making it the best performing institute in the country. IIT Delhi has been listed in the top 100 institutes globally for 12 specific subjects ranging from computer science and information systems, data uh, science as well as AI to chemical and electrical engineering amongst others. My colleague Priyanka Das gets us all the details. Help us really understand what factors have contributed for the significant jump from 45 last year to 26 this year. That's a massive jump. What factors have contributed? Yeah, thank you very much uh, for reaching out to IIT Delhi. Uh, so if I want, if I talk about uh, IIT, uh, the QS uh, World University subject rankings for the year 2025, it is based on five parameters. The first one is academic reputation. The second one is the employer reputation. The third one is the citations uh, of the research papers that we publish, the H index, and the international research network of the institute. So if I look at the data uh, which is released by the QS, IIT Delhi has gained on all of these five points, but if I go further and look into details, there's a considerable increase in the employer reputation. Out of a score of 100, about there's a gain of six points in uh, employer reputation, and there's also gain of almost seven points on the international research network uh, of the institute. Because the markets aren't doing all that well when it comes to employment and placements. That's been tricky. But uh, again, the legacy institutions such as IIT Delhi have fared much better. Um, how long do you think that's going to continue, considering you know the changes that we're seeing in the market and what the employers want from the students here on? See, I think uh, jobs are going to get sparse, and they are getting sparse, right? And so, uh, uh, you know, it is upon us as educators to make sure that our students have the skills that are needed for the new job markets, mm -hmm. right? So the onus and the responsibility is much more on the faculty and the institute to make to ensure that our students are ready. And it's a challenging task, right? You, you hear about AI, you hear about all the advances that are happening. And, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we need to think very carefully about and something we are addressing, right? When we are designing our educational programs, uh, making sure that our students have the requisite background and the training to go into the new world. There's also high demand, especially when it comes to international markets, say Australia, for instance, there's a huge demand for civil engineers. So when it comes to an Indian institution like IIT Delhi, what are you doing so differently that you know, you're still able to attract the top talent from across the country? One part that I have said earlier uh, related to uh, our curriculum that we have uh, already introduced artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics into our curriculum. Typically, every 10 years, we uh, revise our uh, complete curriculum. And every five years, we take a review of whether our curriculum is still relevant. And of course, civil engineering is not an exception. Very recently, we have revised our curriculum. That is a 10 years exercise. And there, all these advanced tools have been already introduced to our students. In addition to that, at uh, IIT Delhi, in Department of Civil Engineering, we have very close connect with the industry not just around here, but even across the country and globally as well.